Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. In a young and restless preview for the week of July 1 to 5, Adam is playing with fire once again. Read on for the details and watch the video below. With the infighting tearing Chancellor Winters apart, Lily and Billy proposed a solution. They split the companies, with Devin and Nate running Winters, and Lily working with Billy to run Chancellor. It was a bold move, but what else could be done? Coming up, Lily tells Billy, Well, I guess congratulations are in order. Billy replies, We won. So why does it seem like they've won absolutely nothing based on their reactions? Ever since helping Nikki get clean, Jack's life has been one mess after another. Not discounting his sister's Ashley's issues, his helping Nikki put him in the hot seat with wife Diane, and his now once again nemesis Victor, who has been working to revive their old feud. Not only has Victor poached Kyle to run Glissade with Audra, but Diane fired Kyle from Jabot. Next week, Jack tells Nikki, it is tearing me apart. Nikki says, talk to me Jack. Let me be there for you the way you have been there for me. Victor is sure not to like this one bit. More synonyms with the letters STU. Finally, just as Sally and Adam seem to be getting back on track, Adam and Chelsea's son Connor's OCD began to stir up some drama. Adam and Chelsea traveled to Baltimore, and their son's OCD flared after a visit with his parents, and they debated whether they should leave Baltimore or stay a bit longer. Chelsea was determined to stay, so Adam stayed as well. Coming up, in their hotel in Baltimore, Adam consoles Chelsea, and suddenly they're kissing. Will they stop themselves, or will this lead to something more? Be sure to read our young and restless spoilers to find out who Summer turns to for help, and who is questioning Billy's motives.